These crazy times, a new normal, your mic is on mute. These are the catchphrases of 2020. But for California High Speed Rail, our 2020 motto has been overcoming and progressing. The global COVID-19 pandemic has challenged the way we live and work, and High Speed Rail is no exception. On the job sites, we teamed up with our contractors to keep workers healthy and allow essential construction in the Central Valley to continue. But like many of you, our day-to-day work moved to a virtual platform, including public hearings and meetings. In the Central Valley over the last year, we've more than quadrupled the number of workers on job sites each week. And from August through mid-November, five high-speed rail structures opened in the Central Valley, including the Poso Creek Viaduct the first structure to open in Construction Package 4 in Kern County. Across the state, our progress has kept on going. In Northern California, with the help of $714 million contributed by High Speed Rail, our partners at Caltrain are moving ahead on electrifying the corridor between San Francisco and San Jose. Trains are now being tested in Utah, and more than 1,400 poles for electrification have been installed. In Southern California, our board approved $423 million for the transformative Link Union Station project at Los Angeles Union Station. This project paves the way for future high-speed rail service in the region. Congressional support for high-speed rail stayed strong in 2020. In February, Congressman Jim Casa used the San Joaquin River Viaduct as a backdrop to unveil the High Speed Rail Corridor Development Act of 2020. It authorizes $32 billion in federal funds for High Speed Rail Corridors. Meantime, Congressman Seth Moulton also unveiled a white paper which is expected to become legislation emphasizing support for High Speed Rail projects nationally. 2020 also made way for new leadership on our board of directors. Tom Richards was voted board chair and Nancy Miller was voted vice chair at our September meeting. Significant progress was made on the environmental front as we issued two draft environmental documents in Southern California, as well as two in Northern California. And in September, we completed a record of decision, meaning full environmental clearance for the Central Valley Y. Opening in October, the first students are already learning valuable trade skills at the Central Valley Training Center in Selma. The partnership between High Speed Rail, the City of Selma, the Fresno County Economic Development Corporation, the Fresno Economic Opportunities Commission, and the Building Trades, this program provides pre-apprenticeship classes and hands-on construction industry training. Graduates of this program will look to work on the nation's first high-speed rail project. High-speed rail is doubling down on efforts to reach a broader audience. This fall, we relaunched a new and improved I Will Ride student engagement effort. The program is designed to inform, engage, inspire, and connect students to California high-speed rail. In December, the authority received a platinum rating by the Institute for Sustainable Infrastructure. It's the first time a program the size and complexity of the High Speed Rail Project has been recognized for its sustainable efforts. At a time when jobs are needed most, High Speed Rail is proud to be creating opportunities. In 2020, we passed two major milestones. In the spring, we announced crossing the 4,000 jobs created mark in construction, and we expect to hit another milestone by the end of the year, passing the 5,000th construction job created. Nothing about 2020 has been easy or business as usual, but as we head into 2021, we will continue to meet whatever challenges are presented and continue to make progress.